Hello everybody, this is Conquering History Games and welcome back to a new series on the channel. A new campaign in Crusader Kings 2. I did promise that it was going to be coming back after I had finished with uh, my Holy Catholic Ireland campaign. And I know that I've been putting out a lot of Hearts of Iron 4 content lately, but I've been very excited to uh, return to Crusader Kings 2, which is what's happening today, as you can obviously see. Now, uh, there was a lot of internal debate about what I was going to do next after having spent some time as an Irish feudal lord. Of course, if you're looking at the title of this uh, video, you probably already know what I picked. But I do like when I play in Crusader Kings 2 to start with a historical figure that I kind of know a little bit about, at least when I'm playing uh, for YouTube. Uh, so, for example, when I began my Irish campaign, I was playing as the King Tortlebach, uh, which was, uh, what was that, 1092 or something? I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry, I, I don't remember off the top of my head, but we're going to be playing as another historical figure today. I'd actually considered going down here into Iberia uh, to play as uh, one of the many, many kings or, um, or heads of the caliphs that I do know because I, I have spent quite a lot of time studying medieval Liberia and that is something that is going to happen in the future. I actually have a, uh, an interesting concept of an idea to play down there one day but um, that when that happens it's going to be a very long campaign because I'll be starting in 769. So instead we are going to be going to yet another custom start date. Uh, so for this, instead of at the 1066, we're going to be wanting to go ahead, actually about over, yeah, over 100 years forward. So just going to click our little arrows here. Uh, and we are going to be playing in France. So already, it look, as you can see, things are getting pretty tough. And right now we're in 1076, which is almost the start date that I want. But as you can see, France here is, it's been split in half. It's, uh, it's been torn into pieces. And I am going to be uh, be playing as not King Louis the Young, uh, although by this point I think he's in his 60s. We are going to be playing as his son, King Philippe of France, 15 years old when he ascends to the throne, known to history as Philip II or Philip Augustus. Uh, he reigned for almost 45 years as the King of France and had one heck of a career. And uh, I'm going to be talking a lot about him, maybe a little bit about his father, and just a little bit about the situation that was going on in Europe at the time. Uh, so let's let's just jump in, and then I'll just sort of contextualize everything. I'm not going to be doing Iron Man mode this time, because some of you who saw my Irish campaign, you might remember there were a couple episodes in there where I had bad audio when I was recording it. And when you're not playing Iron Man, that means there's no save files. So I couldn't go back and re-record those sections. So there's going to be no Iron Man mode. Uh, everything else, I think I'm just going to leave standard. I've just got the Mongols on delayed invasion. And yeah, that's, yeah, we're just going to keep just leave everything as it is. No achievements in this campaign, unfortunately. But I could get achievements on my own time. All right, so we're going to we're going to jump in here. And yes, I do know, I do know that we're just playing a Catholic feudal ruler again, but I promise I will do something different in the next one. I might play a Muslim, I might play a Hindu, a Horde, something, but I promise whatever campaign I do after this one, it will not be yet another feudal Catholic king. Not, not for a while, anyway. Um, so yeah, Philip Augustus, he's just ascended to the throne. It's September 18th, 1180. He's already married to Queen Isabella. Uh, and his father, Louis the Young of France, had more than one wife. Uh, he was originally married to... Oops, I accidentally just opened up his uh, Wikipedia page. I did not mean to do that. But he was originally married to Eleanor of Aquitaine, which is... Let's see, I think it's if we look at the duchies here. Yeah, yeah here we go. Basically, this area of France, southwestern France... Uh, when she when it was a very powerful mess of marriage because she brought the duchy to uh, Louis as her dowry, uh, which uh, meant that the Capets, which is our dynasty here, House Capet, actually was able to kind of almost have a France that looked like France we know today in the sense that it uh, it extended south from Paris to the border with the Iberian Peninsula. So um, uh, but then their marriage got annulled after uh, several years. I don't remember how long they had been married. Um, 
How long had they been married? Was it 20 years? No, I think it was almost 20 years. Yeah, it had been almost 20 years and, and she still had not produced the son for Louis. Remember, we're talking about this guy here, the dead one. Uh, incapable. Yeah, a little incapable, he's dead. Uh, so, they had not produced any sort of a male heir, so the marriage was allowed to be annulled. Eleanor then went on to get remarried. Uh, and so she became the queen consort of England two years later when she married uh, King Henry here. And this is her. So you can see she's a countess of several places as well as the Queen of England. Now, Eleanor had several children, of course, uh, very famous names here. You have uh, Prince Henry the Young. There's Prince Richard, a.k.a. Richard the Lionhearted. Whew, he's already got 19 Marshall score, I can see. Uh, and where is he? Where is he? Yeah. Earl John of Cornwall, who will, of course, become King John. Well, he's both arbitrary, greedy, and deceitful. Good stuff, John. Uh, so I'll talk more about the, uh, the uh, Plantagenets, which is how I think it's pronounced. I'll talk about that house later, who we're fighting against. Henry, of course, one of the great kings of England, although, uh, unfortunately, he was never able to run his own family quite as well as he was able to run his, uh, his, his, uh, his country, his kingdom. Um, so, anyway, moving back here to Louis the Seventh and to Philip the Second. So Louis, Louis, he did found the University of Paris, but he also was a part of the disastrous Second Crusade. Um, I think the I don't remember if Notre Dame began its construction under his or his son's reign, but it's an interesting time for France. Uh, interesting, by which I mean bad. I think this is the low point of French power in as far as uh, when you can select them in Crusader Kings 2. As you can see, they've been split in half. They don't even have a continuous landmass because uh, Aragon here, Aragon down here under uh, King Alphonse, the troubadour, he's, uh, he's splitting the country in half, as is the holdings here of um, England. So... England right now holds more of what we would call France today than Fran France does. And it gets worse because not only are these ex are there these external issues that we have to deal with, a very powerful England, an England that's very close to uh, being able to take over the rest of uh, the the uh, of Ireland. In fact, I would not be terribly surprised if we saw England turned into an empire. Hopefully not. That's going to make things even harder for us. Uh, but also there are internal difficulties. If we were to look at the religious map mode, we have some Cathars here, down here in Tulu. Uh, the, so that's an issue that we're going to have to deal with. The, something else that Philip II in his, in his lifetime did. Uh, so we're going to have to deal with that. Also, we have no dynastic heir right now. It is currently my uncle, Robert the Great, who is my heir, but he is of a different dynasty. So that means I need to have some children pretty darn quick. <laughs> uh, and what other internal struggles? Oh yes, and I am only 15. The good news, I've got double digit scores in almost everything except for intrigue. I'm quick, I'm ambitious, I'm brave, honest, and just. I have some combat modifiers here. Um, unfortunately, my wife is not going to come of age for a few more years. Uh, she does bring a county with her, so I suppose that is something. Um, but I'll talk more in detail about the things that Philip Augustus did during his life, but it's a, it's an interesting scenario that we're in. Also, we're going to get to see Byzantium and Rum go at it out here. Uh, the the Quaba, I never know how to pronounce this, Quaba Morzimid are still in charge out here in Central Asia. Uh, the Lomahads are still pretty united right now, but Castile is relatively strong right now. The Christian kingdoms are in a decent position here, so we'll see how this goes down. I think the Christians might end up doing a little bit better than they did against uh, than, than they did in my Irish campaign. Uh, but of course, England is the toughest one for us to deal with. And uh, of, now I do have a non-aggression pact with them right now, which of course uh, carries both ways. Uh, so that that uh, that puts that keeps the pressure off of me for at least a little bit. But we're almost 10 minutes into this video, and I haven't even pressed play yet. So let's let's actually get started here. Okay, now I could make a couple of duchies, and I sure am tempted to do it. I wouldn't I wouldn't mind that having a couple of duchies at least hold Valois, Valois, right? That's the yeah Valois. So that's 
essentially Paris and this area just to the north of it. If we actually look at the uh, du jour duchies, yes, it's right here. It's not, it's not the prettiest looking one, but you'll be the dukes of that in Orleans. I would like that very much. Uh, we got some decisions available. Of course, we're going to want to recruit a court physician. We don't want to die. Now, I'm not saying that as Philip Augustus in the game here, I'm going to try to do everything that he did in his own lifetime. That would be extremely difficult, and frankly, there's just way too much RNG in this game for me to reliably be able to do that. I could just get sick and die of a fever or something. Uh, now, in the meantime, we're going to prolesse the size down here. Let's start uh, getting rid of the Cathar heresy. The sooner the better. Uh, and I, yeah, as you can see, I'm going to lose quite a few titles if I was to die. So I got need to be careful. Um, let's see, siblings. I've only got sisters right now. My bastard half-brother's dead. Uh, now, the good thing about having so many sisters is I should hopefully be able to marry some of them off pretty quick here. Yeah, Prince Marie of France. This is one of the, the daughters Eleanor had. She had a lot of kids. Look it up. Eleanor had lots of children. <laughs> Uh, unfortunately, she has, she's got a weak claim here. She's married to my uncle. All right, let's see. Who who can I marry off here? Who's... Yeah, let's see. Yeah, my sis, half-sister is married to Henry the Young, so... That's a little weird, uh, but not too weird, because this is actually King Louis' daughter by a different woman. I think he had... I think he had three different wives? That's not counting bastards. I'm not. Ugh. I don't know Louis as well as I know as I know Philip. But uh, so basically, his ex-wife is married to Henry, and then his daughter is married to Henry the Young, who's the who's the son. Now the good news here is that also the there was a lot of Henry did try to overthrow his father, and Richard did as well later. So hopefully we'll see that internal struggle again. Um, okay, here we go, Prince Adelaide. Who can we marry you to? I need to get, I want to get a nice alliance. King of Portugal, King of Scotland. That wouldn't be bad. That'd be quite, kind of useful. Will he do it? Yes. He's not going to go matrilineal. <laughs> That's fine. I've got other sisters. Um, although I do need to, I do need to get a matrilineal marriage in there somewhere, I think. Uh, all right. Unpausing the game now, finally. Okay, special titus, title actions. Of course, we're going to set our crown focus down there in Paris. We're already prolesse the sizing down here. Let's collect some taxes. Um, fabricating claims. I could go for Brittany. That'll be a little tricky. All right, until I think of something else to do, I'm going to do that. Oh, then again, I should have probably sowed descent. Uh, okay. Let's, let's train some troops, and, okay, what is this? A field surgeon known for the ability to rapidly amputate limbs and save the lives of gravely wounded soldiers. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll take him. And let's go study some technology, perhaps down there with the papacy. All right. Crusade for Andalusia. Do I want to get involved in this? It's pretty early. It's pretty early for a crusade. How strong are these guys? Uh, they've got 16,000 or so. Let's see, Fernando here has about 6,000. He's got only less than 5,000, less than 6,000. So many Alfonsos. Yeah, when in, if you're ever taking a test on medieval Iberia and it's about one of the Catholic kingdoms, just write Alfonso down. It basically is a 50-50 shot. <laughs> There were so many of them from so many different kingdoms. But it's also because so many of them were related. But we're gonna... Was he in this crusade? He's the only one so far. This is tough. This is a tough call. I might. It, it would be nice to drive them out of Iberia. But I don't think I'll end up getting enough war score. I don't have a huge army, exactly. And again, the real Philippe did join Crusades. You know what? Once he turns once he turns 16, if the war is still going, I'll hop in. Wait, England. Has England joined? No. No, he's 
doing something else. Okay, because that'll be bad if England gets Andalusia. Genoa's getting involved. All right, now I do, I am a little bit over on my domain size, but I think I'll be okay. And I'm now known as the Just. Fantastic. Uh, okay, I got to get to August of next year before he's going to become of age. After that, I'll slow things down more. Uh, let's see how it's going down here. I am hoping that my local counts and such are going to... Oh, good, we got some technology. I would hope that uh, they're doing their part to eradicate this menace. They are good Catholics, right? And we've got some dangerous factions here. My uncle is in charge. Oh, no. No, no, no. It's this duke. He wants independence. He was married to my aunt previously. Maybe I should arrange something else. Maybe with one of my sisters. Yeah, gotta do it. Sorry. Okay, so that should put me in a nice non-aggression pact. Let's ally with uh, Scotland. Okay. Excellent. So, how big... How much... Uh, uh, they've got about the same sized army as I do. England's got 23,000. So this is going to be a tough one. Very tough one. But my regency is finally ended. Let's take a look. Wow, that's a nice beard for a 16 year old. Good for you, dude. All right, what, what do I want to. The question is, what do I want to focus on? I'm thinking about joining the Hermetic Society. Um, let's see. I got, I got nice stats. My learning's good. Yeah, Hermetic Society, I think, will be the way to go. So let's do that. And I need a character focus. Let me wait on that character focus because they're going to probably pick one for me. They're going to want me to do a certain one. And I want to have a son as soon as possible. Let's take a look at our laws here. Oh, very small crown authority. You see, that was another one of the great things that, uh, well, depending on who you ask, but one of the major things that Philip Augustus did during his reign was he took France from this, it, it, it had basically become a petty kingdom it was just paris and in reality it was just paris in the area immediately around it that the capets uh were in control of but by the time his reign ends um france and england's political trajectories had shifted they had uh, they had gone in opposite directions basically because his victories are what's eventually going to lead to king john having to sign the magna carta which uh a lot of people would say is the beginning the very, very baby seeds of the beginning of the democratization of uh, England. I, I mean, yeah, I know if you can go back to some Anglo-Saxon traditions, but I'm talking about in the sense of taking away the power of the king and it beginning to be distributed lower. And so that's, that's in many ways, the first step towards the constitutional monarchy. Uh, and then France... Philip becomes the first person to actually call himself King of France instead of King of the Franks. And uh, his power becomes very centralized. Uh, but, but anyway, uh, I was supposed to be... What was I supposed to be doing? Right, the laws. So we don't have very... We're in minimum crown authorities. So that's kind of fitting for the moment. So we could uh, go to low centralization. Or the crown authority... None of my nobles are paying taxes. A lot of things I want to do here. Let's go for the low crown authority. This might be a tricky one. All right. Now, who's who's in this? Leon Castile. Yeah, Henry's Henry's not going to do anything. He's not jumping in on this. Uh, there are some defenders too. We can't forget that. But I think I have to do my part. I'm 16. Let's get to it. Let's join the crusade. Um, good war score. It would be pretty nice if I could get the kingdom title. But if not, it's not a big deal. All right, let's take a look at my vassals here. Is anybody in the red? No? Okay, let's just give some nice honorary titles out so I can get a little bit more of a levy. Cupbearer. We're just we're just throwing them around. Offer to join a war. What? I don't know what 
that's about. Um, wait, what's going on here? Oh, these are just people fighting on my land. It's not actually a fight against me. Alright, and I think that's good. Let's give it a few more days here. Uh, Alright, cool. I have now formally accepted the Champagnan army has arisen. What's up with that? He's attacking Prince Bishop... Oh, these are internal struggles. See, this is... This is, this is the kind of stuff I'm talking about. Now we've got internal wars going on. Uh, oh, this looks interesting. You are deep in thought as court physician Helai suddenly interrupts you. My king, I know that both you and the queen desire an heir for the realm. If you so wish, I can research ways to enhance your virility, all in order to facilitate the creation of a worthy successor. Yes, please go ahead. What are you insinuating? I don't need help. Um, let's Let's put our pride aside for a little bit for the sake of the kingdom. And for this game. <laughs> I don't want it to just end instantly. But uh, I think we'll just go ahead and raise up these armies. Uh, we'll start rallying here in Aragon. He's approached me with a smile on his face. I have succeeded, my king. If you drink this concoction, your potency will magnify tenfold. The royal bloodline is saved. Uh, let's go for it. What's gonna happen? Shortly after drinking the concoction, you feel full of energy and vigor. It seems to have worked. The lineage is surely safe now. Now where is the queen? Oh crud! She's still just twelve. Oops. <laughs> so you know, despite what was happening in reality, I don't think she can actually get pregnant until she's of age. Uh, whoops. <laughs> okay, and the Hermetic Society—they don't. Wait, what? Okay. Yeah, they're not giving me any active missions right now. How's the money looking? Monthly balance could be certainly better. Oh, no, she is pregnant! Oh, jeez, I've just impregnated a 12-year-old. Just another day in Crusader Kings 2. Right, who's got the high war score right now? King Fernando of Leon. Oh, I suppose that's to be expected. He was in a good position. But I am going to strike straight for the heartlands. Let's go for Granada. Uh oh, wait a minute. Let's uh let's stick around over here with the the Danish. I finally stand before the destination of the Crusade. With sword in hand, I am ready to storm the walls of Balancia. Excellent. Our armies now stand poised. Take part in the crusade for the kingdom of Andalusia. Great time of crusader, which for those of you who don't know is really great because it gives me more martial, church opinion, religious same trade opinion, and personal combat skills. The opinion is the main thing. At least I think. It's pretty good. Uh, it's pretty great to have. Alright, so this is this is the actual technical target of the crusade. Um, so we're gonna we're gonna try to take this. These guys are gonna lose. They got reinforced too late. Uh, but I got big time martial ability right here. Let's just move some of these dudes around. Okay, looks good. And, um, all right, so there's some title usurpations going on back home. But uh, it looks like I'm the only one in charge of this siege right now, which I guess will be good for my war score. But money is definitely a problem. I don't want to borrow money from the Jews over this. Uh, and there's a lot of other things I want to do that cost some money. Okay, I got a daughter. All right, so it's something. Wait, what are the laws? Oh no, I've got Salic law, don't I? Uh huh. That's the Salic law. All right, Elizabeth. No, we're not going to do Elizabeth. I think I'm going to return to the tradition of naming uh, characters in Crusader Kings 2, some of my characters after some of my Patreons, and I do have more Patreons these days. Um, let's go with. Here we go. My daughter, Shadi Trace? Shadi Trace? I think that's a girl name. All right, that's gonna have to do. <laughs> but I still want kids. Let's see here. All right, and the Hermetic Society doesn't seem to be wanting me to do anything, so I think we're gonna go with stewardship maybe, or no, business, business. Let's try to get some money flowing some alliances forming inside of my realm. Can't say I'm loving that. Alright, let's 
get La Mancha. It's not too bad. It's only four a month. I could be losing more money. can't assault things with six and above. Wow, how? Wait. 6.5 fort level. Wow, so there's not going to be too many assaults going on. Uh, right now we're pretty good. 39%. Okay, so they're done converting that area. That's good. There's only a little bit. Only a few Cathars left. Wow, okay. I'm getting really lucky here. I thought these were going to be a bigger problem. But, I shouldn't speak too soon. The target of our crusade has finally fallen to our mighty arms and the wrath of God. Victory is ours. Oh, really? Yeah, looks like the war's still on. I think I came in a little bit too late to get enough war score. Um, yeah, I'm pretty low on the totem pole. I'm at only 3%, whereas Leon's at 22%. On the other hand, I'm not gonna... I'm sure not gonna make anything happen if I get... Whoa! Whoa, let's just stay right here. Uh, big army coming. That was close. Almost ran right into him. Catholic Crusade has ended. Wow, okay. A successful crusade for Andalusia. The Lord has granted King Fernando of Leon victory in the crusade for Andalusia against Sultan Yusuf II of the Almohad Sultanate. Pope Nicholas III is called for a month of celebration across the whole Christian world. Praise the Lord. All right, let's head back home. So Leon got it. Now I uh, can't wait for this guy to die. He splits it all up between his family. Because that is just the way the Spanish like to do it. All right, to Neophyte Philip, it has come to my attention that you still lack a proffer office of alchemy. How can you hope to uncover the secrets of Hermes the Thrice Blessed without the proffer tools or staff? You should build one or your work will fade into obscurity. All right, that sounds good. I was going to write a book, but laboratory could work. Um, here we go. Construct laboratory. For science! Secrecy is of great importance, is my experience. Yeah, yeah. I'm just going to go all the way in all these. Oh, wait. Uh, most efficient. Secrets won't be as well guarded. Um, let's go for the efficient office, actually. I'm not a very high-profile guy. I'm just the king of France. I don't think anybody's going to come for me. In order to properly heat and transform. Yeah. Um, small but functional. There we go. All right. So once everybody's back home, we'll go ahead and disband. Okay. Whoops. Let's just do that. Alright, great. So the vassals can stop whining. Uh, only the best will be good enough. I'm going to be approaching bankruptcy after going down this tree, but it's okay. Uh, local smiths do not seem to appreciate the great care that they that must be taken to create the kind of tools we need to work the fires of my laboratory. Perhaps in time they will learn, but so far the results have been most disappointing. Uh, we'll just import it. Okay, we got more technology points. Great. Uh, can't do much yet, though. I snuck into the kitchen for my usual night snack. I chanced upon Countess Ida. We've been chatting and laughing for hours now, but the words have grown softer and her hands are touching. Suddenly, she leans in and whispers softly in my, softly in my ear. Oh, boy, she's trying to seduce me. Are you trying to seduce me, Countess? <gasps> and she has a husband. It will not happen. I refuse. Can't let her husband find out. He's going to be very upset. All right. Oversee this construction. Now, Henry is getting old. Uh, improve the Carpenter's Guild. I support the Carpenters. I support the Guild. Uh, Invexin. Can outlaw the Guilds. So they don't mess with the local market structure. City vassals are going to like me less. Uh, I think I'm going to support the Carpenters Guild. Local build time monitor. If, yeah. Speaking of build time, what have we got here? As above, so below. I got my impressive laboratory. And I get the esoteric knowledge. Good stuff. So, should I begin work on that theorem paper? Or maybe I should save up money for a little while. I could compose a book. Wait, why can't I compose the book? I don't have enough money. I might compose the book first. Yeah, I might do that. I have no artifacts. So, what's the Duke of Champagne's problem? He desires the county of sense. 
Do I own that? Oh, I can give that to him, I think. During the last few days... Oh, no, it's just my daughter's sick. Yeah, sure, I can, uh... I'm fine with parting with it. Wait, no. Actually, no, I'm not. Uh, I want, how much is it going to cost? It's going to cost me 172 And then Orleans is going to cost me 172 What is, uh... What's Sen's part of? What is that? That's not part of either one. Okay, it's part of the Duchy of Champagne. Um, once I create one of my duchy titles, I'll give that to him. Group of craftsmen has come to your court to show off their work. They present you with fine goods, of which you are sure there would be a demand for in the realm. Noticing your interest, the craftsmen ask for some capital to start up a workshop, saying they lack the funds to do it on their own. Okay. Um, I think that's a good place to start. I mean, to stop it at. We kind of have a grasp of the situation, and, and what, 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 goodness gracious, what is going on here? Oh, wait, King Fernando of Andalusia. Okay, is he, okay, he's a Catholic, right? Uh, although, I think it's going to take a little while to actually convert these people. So, uh, we'll see how that goes for him, but a good, successful crusade out of the gate. That's nice. I got the Crusader trait. Uh, I'm already in the Hermetic Society. I'm working my way up. I've got a laboratory. Um, I've had one child, so we're out of immediate danger, at least. <sighs> had a daughter with a 12-year-old. And I have a 30-year-old grandma. Um, so, yeah, in the next episode, I'll start thinking about how I'm going to take on England. I might need an alliance with the Holy Roman Empire, although I certainly might have some beef with them eventually as well. Uh, as for, I, I just realized I didn't actually talk about what my goal was here. Of course, I would like to restore the Kingdom of France, but I suppose if I had to say there was a long-term goal, at least for now, it would be to create the Empire of Francia. Which, of course, means I would have to find myself in conflict with the Holy Roman Empire. We'll just have to wait and see. Uh, Crusader Kings is a game with a lot of variability. I do like to roll with the punches. I don't like to, you know, pigeonhole myself too much in Crusader Kings 2. I just like to let things happen and react accordingly. But the main goal is, of course, we got to push out England. At least from the area that is King of Kingdom of France. At least. Um... This is reminding me. Uh, yeah, and I gotta, I gotta keep an eye on that. How long we have a uh, 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 that non-aggression pact with Henry? All right. Anyway, thanks for joining me. I'm conquering history games. Please subscribe and click the bell so you're always notified whenever a new episode of this series goes up. And I'll see you in part two. Bye.